for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Hi, and welcome to our video series on Dreamweaver CS5 Quick Tips. In this series, we've been looking at some of the different tools and helps that Dreamweaver gives you um, to work with. And in this video, I want to highlight these tools right here, your visual aids tools. If I click on that, you're going to see I get a list of items here. Now, if I go to my view menu, I've got a lot more options here, including all the different options that I saw over here. But there's a more, this is the most convenient place to get to them. Now, if I'm looking over here in design view, you're going to see that we've got quite a few items that are turned on over here. For example, CSS layout box model is checked. Layout backgrounds is not. I'm going to go ahead and click layout backgrounds, and you're going to see that what ends up happening is I end up color coding my different divs so I can see where the dividing line is. You can see this light green in the background is actually the color that's been assigned to the wrapper div. So we have, if you want to see where your divs are visually, that may help you. And I'm going to go ahead and turn that off by clicking that again. Now you also have CSS layout box model there. And if I click that, any box model properties that we're showing or tooltips will turn off. If I turn off layout outlines, you're going to see that the dotted lines that surround each one of my divs now disappears. I can turn those back on just simply by clicking them again. And there are some other options in here. You also have table widths and table borders. And I'm actually going to jump into another page here and go into design view. And you can visually see how I've got some table options up here at the top. If I click in this table, you'll see the options there. If I click up top, you'll see the options again. And those can be turned off and on with these table borders and table width. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click down there. You can see these options. And I'm going to go ahead and, whoops, wrong item. I'm going to go ahead and click right there. And I'm going to click Table Widths, and you're going to see that those disappear. I'll go ahead and click that drop down there again and select Table Widths, and they come on back. Table Borders will get rid of those dotted lines. So if you don't want to see those, you can toggle them off and on there. Finally, you have up here at the top, Hide All Visual Aids. And if I click that, it's going to turn everything off for me. Now, this is kind of, this used to be very useful before we had live view. It's less useful right now, but still you might find some use for it. If you uncheck Hide All Visual Aids, it goes back to your original settings, showing whatever it is you wanted or didn't want to see. Now, in addition to the visual aids that are right here, if you go to the view menu, you're going to see a couple of options that I really like. One is rulers. And you can see, you can choose the way your items are measured. I like pixels. And I'm going to go ahead and say show. And now I have a pixel ruler up here at the top. So I can see how wide things are. And another pixel ruler down here at the bottom so I can see how high things are approximately. And that goes very well with the um, table where it shows you how wide things are. You can see here, this table is set for 100%, and that's 565 pixels. I can click that drop down and select select table. It actually does that by default. I can also clear any widths or heights that are specified, make whites, make all the widths consistent, or hide the table widths. You'll see those disappear right there. I can turn them back on by coming back up here and clicking table widths, and they reappear. So lots of different views here, also lots of different views here. 
Now the last thing that we'll talk about in this video is the grid. And some people really like the grid, some people hate the grid. Let's go ahead and click on show grid and you're going to see that in addition to the rulers there's now a grid at every 50 pixels so it will help me see where different things are. You can go ahead and go to the view menu and select um, grid and select grid settings and you can change the color of the grid for instance um, I'm kind of used to my grid lines being this bright green I can toggle it off and on, I can snap things to grids like the AP um, tool, and I can space it out. 50 pixels is a bit much for what I usually use. I'm going to make it 100 pixels. And you can either indicate with lines as we are, or you can just place dots at the intersection. I'll go ahead and click OK, and you'll see my grid has adjusted according to my new settings. So that can be a really useful tool. So make sure you remember you've got some visual aids here to work with, as well as some visual aids on the view menu. Of them, rulers and grids are probably the most important for what most people end up doing. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the uh, website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.